Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 episode in Kaiser Redux mod. My name is the Minor Fellowship. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and recap the uh, the previous episode. Uh, and we'll get right into it today. Um, so in the last episode, uh, Mongolia decided to screw us over. Uh, shocker. Uh, they declared war on the Russian Empire, so now... They are at war with both. We're not going to necessarily join that war. Uh, we're going to try to finish off their Eurasian Union uh, as fast as possible. We're going to hope that um, the Commune of France is going to save us um, by declaring war on the, uh, the Eurasian Union. Um, that would really save us. <clears throat> like, no kidding. So, we are going to see what happens today's episode i'm hoping the russian empire doesn't absolutely destroy mongolia um but yeah i mean who knows what's gonna happen today but yeah um i also want to preface this video uh i did in the last video um <clears throat> i apologize for not being able to post uh, before my vacation um and having that kind of long period of no posting at all <clears throat> um as you guys probably know, editing takes a very long time, uh, so I was kind of unable to uh, post a video, uh, but hopefully I can find time to do it in the near future. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and press play, uh, and we'll get started today. And we just got the anti-tank, so hopefully we can do more piercing damage. Uh, we can even get the level 2 variant of it. Why not? All right, and it looks like um, the Civil War in America is over. The American Union State has taken New York City, um, and they are now justifying on the Pacific States of America, but they did finish their Civil War, so right now they're going to go ahead and reclaim California and the West. <clears throat> Which, like I said, I mean... The way this series is kind of going, I don't think we're going to try to jump over to America... Like we did in our Millennium Dawn series, obviously. We got nuclear reactors up and running. We might want to start building those, start producing some nukes. Mm. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab radio. Why not? Alright, Kingdom of Burma. I think we're going to go ahead and give all of that to probably the principal... or. The Princely Federation and the Siam. So we're going to try to divvy out as much as we can. We're going to go ahead and confirm an exit. But we are going to do a little bit of a... Editing thing. Mark state. Mark state. We're going to give this to... Siam. And we are going to give... We're going to give that to Princely Federation. I think that's only fair. Princely Federation is the um, is India. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just think that's right. We got another military factory. Perfect. We're going to head and pop that bad boy. We could invest more into fighters. But we could also do artillery. I think we'll start uh, putting stuff into fighters with our next... Um, round of military factories engineer company level three awesome we could go ahead and do recon company number three second soviet russian republic okay <gasps> oh thank god oh russia's stupid oh yes okay this is exactly what we wanted um unfortunately Russia was, or fortunately for us, Russia was dumb, as can be. Uh, and they decided to declare war on the Third International. <sighs> okay, so there is a potential to save our run here. Um, with the fall of uh, the Eurasian Union, is going to be a huge deal. We won't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, we might be able to even go help the Mongolians over in the Russian Empire. Or we decide, you know what, this is the time we need to leave the Mongolian Khanate uh, and pursue uh, China, basically. 
Um, so we will decide that after the uh, Eurasian Union falls. I don't want to count my sheep, my uh, eggs too quickly. Um, so yeah, we will see what happens here. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, war summary. We do have, we're still at war with the Entente, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Eurasian Union has 44% towards capitulation. Let's take a look at their casualties. They've lost 2.82 million. So we've taken, we've done the most casualties. Uh, we've only lost under a million. We've lost half a million. Uh, phew, Mongolia is not looking too good though. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm not going to uh, interfere with the whole Russian Empire situation just yet. I see, I see. So we just sandwiched them in between us. Oh, this is awesome. We're seeing a full retreat of the Eurasian Union up on our front. Now, I know I say this every episode, but again, if you guys do have content that you do want to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, it kind of lets me know what you guys think in terms of the channel moving forward. <clears throat> but yeah. And of course, right now, I think, or not right now, but eventually, I mean, we did talk about me doing possibly the poll. I think I will end up doing the poll. Um, it'll be, of course, after this series has kind of wrapped up. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, once I, once the poll comes out, I will make a, uh, a post in my Discord. If you guys are a member, then you'll be able to see it. Otherwise, for everyone else, please just... Um, Keep an eye out. Now, Eurasian Union is now at 67%. Uh, and I think that's safe to say that once Petrograd... Or, yeah, Petrograd falls, um, I don't think they're going to be around for much longer. Fall of Moscow. Oh, they took Moscow already? Before Petrograd, huh? Dang. All right, let's see there. Ooh, 84. Okay, so they are almost done. We might be able to take this and actually end the war. Um, see if we can't maybe. I mean, this, I mean, I don't, I don't get too cocky, but at the same time, um, I don't think it's gonna take a lot to end them. Yes, the Eurasian Union is dealt with the fall of Petrograd. Oh man, that feels great. Okay, so it's a little rough because I want to give myself this territory, the ones that I, you know, completely fought for. Um, but at the same time, these guys are not included in the peace deal just yet. All right, so we are back from the peace deal. Um, all right, so let me explain. Um, I gave Commune of France all of this because I know that they kind of do their own thing. They make puppets or whatever. Worst case scenario, they just kind of keep it. Uh, we use the Urals as basically like a block between Mongolia and Commune of France. And Mongolia I gave the land to uh, because, one, this is basically all of nothing. And um, they got claims on it, so I was like, whatever. Uh, we ended up taking this little portion down here. We made puppets out of Turkestan and Kazakhstan. Um, just because I didn't want the borders to look ugly after the war, just in case. Um, so yeah, I kind of kept that. Uh, and plus, I, you know, the borders kind of would look weird if I had it all branched up there. Especially if my goal was China. <clears throat> so, that being said, we can move our divisions away from... Uh, Russia. We're going to have set them up on. I want to say the Qing Imperial Authority, but we might as well go for this people down here. Um, we'll set the Red Army. I'm a little nervous, uh, actually, about the Princely Federation. Um, I don't think they would try anything just yet. I want to see if they, maybe they have a focus that would attack me, possibly. But, oh my god i cannot tell you how stoked i am uh that the eurasian union is dealt with um to be fair i would thought it was gonna go completely awry it was gonna be terrible um we are frozen right now hopefully the game does not crash any second now all right so we do have to decide what we're doing with bukhara to be fair, we could just do puppets, honestly. That's fine. We'll just have a puppet block right there. We don't really need the land anyway. Um, 
We do need steel, though, because we did take it in the war. Oof! Major exporter. Leading up now, I think we're going to have to do um, some infrastructure over here. I'm not building infrastructure over here. I'm going to let Mongolia duke this out because worst case scenario, we do have a war goal against Mongolia. Um, you know, if they die, not a big deal. We've used their use. Um, as of right now, we're going to do our own thing and maybe even declare war on them at some point. But uh, for now, I'm going to kind of ignore them um, as bad as that sounds. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we did amazing today. Uh, we've finished our major war. And, yep, like I said, uh, France made a puppet of the Russian Socialist Republic. Um, but, yeah, no, we're going to turn our attention over to uh, East Asia, uh, a.k.a. China, and obviously dominate over there by taking these. I haven't quite decided if we're going to go to war with Japan. Um, I don't know. We'll decide, um, when it gets to that. But, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys thought of this episode. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do better. Uh, what content you guys want to see, anything like that. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace!